Welcome to Novel AI. Um, let me go ahead and check if my stream is up. <coughs> because I am streaming. Um, we will be playing a pi the pirate module of Novel AI and seeing what the story writes. I do have the new thing, text to speech version 2 on. Also, this person you see down below, the portrait, I just opened Novel AI on my phone. Oops. Why I do that. So, this is live. So, <laughs> um, let me go ahead. Yeah, I'm live. So, let's go ahead and start. So, we need to set this to the pirate module first. Um, how about hi, pirates? Now, Pirates, of course, is the theme of our story today, but you'll like what's gonna come next, probably, I hope. Uh, let's just generate something and show you guys of the new text-to-speech. The wind was from the north, and had been for five days. It brew hard enough to rattle the shutters in their frames, but it was warm as well, warmer than any of them could remember since spring. That's the new text to speech. I'm honestly excited. Um, let's go ahead and write something. So if blue shall warmer than in them could remember last spring. But with warmth comes dread. And so they were all glad I'm not. But with warmth comes dread, so they were all glad that they would be leaving soon. Not long after noon, they heard a trumpet sound out across the water, then there came shouts and the clatter of hoofs on cobbles, and a crowd thundered up the street toward the inn. Okay. So we're on an island, it seems. Um. What? What? So if you have great ideas, the novel AI is actually a really good way to deal with those. Um, it is better than an AI dungeon in that it is improved constantly. Um, I really love its themes that work way better than AI dungeons author notes. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit send. What is going on? The innkeeper shouted at his wife, who ran to the window and looked down into the square below. I do not know, she said, pulling her shawl tight about herself. Come away, come away, he urged her, grabbing hold of the doorpost as he hurried past. Okay. I really want to see the AI generate next part. She followed him out onto the stoop, her skirt swirling around her legs, and together they watched the townspeople pour up the road toward the inn. There must have been a hundred or more, young men and women both, some carrying torches, others holding lanterns, all of them shouting. Do we want that? Um... I got an idea, actually. Murderers! And bloody villains! And away with... down with them! Oh dear. The innkeeper murmured, looking back at his wife. We should close early tonight. break down the door. His wife predicted gloomily. The innkeeper sighed heavily. Well, we can't just leave them standing outside, 
he said. Then he looked around until he saw a couple of young boys playing by the side of the road. I probably spelled that wrong. Um... Maybe we can pay for distraction. He went inside to fetch his purse. And when he returned, he gave one of the boys a gold piece. There's 50 coppers in here somewhere. He told the boy, and I'll give you another if you go round to the far end of the street and start singing. What did he start singing? I really want to know this. If anyone asks where the music is coming from, tell them it's me and my wife. But only if they're nice. Go ahead now and get started, and don't stop till I call you back. Huh. Okay, so, I won't go ahead and generate the title. Um, this does generate every day. Um, yeah, I would like to generate a new title. Three books of that worse. Sure, sure. That works. So, I do have the 2-0-4-24 limit. Um, I am... Basically, uh, bringing on my guest. Um, I haven't showed you guys exactly what this girl does. Now, this is the hype bot. It's a new feature that if you click on, it gets commentary to your story. Really? You can connect that very well. If you're sure you don't want to leave us. What? When did the innkeeper say that? Great idea, you should make your career out of this. Great idea. Good idea have second boy keep watching in case things turn ugly, his wife remarked. Are you generating a story now? Um, good, yeah, that works. Um. Okay. Which, uh, Okay, what shall I sing? The boy asked eagerly. The innkeeper thought for a moment, then shook his head. No, something sad, something beautiful. A love song, perhaps, but keep your voice soft. Don't raise it above a whisper. How is that supposed to work? It's a crowd people shouting. And whatever you do, make sure no one hears you. Just walk up and down the street until I bring the other boy back with me. Okay. The boy skipped off down the road whistling to himself as he went. And soon there was a silence in the square. So, you can tell this whole thing generated because I put down... Um, where is it? I, I placed down... Come on... I wrote, maybe we can pay for a distraction to generate this whole thing. Uh, text novel AI is a brilliant thing. If you want me to check out, um, Holo AI sometime, I will. Uh, that's going to end you, because this is pretty good. The innkeeper's wife looked nervously around her at her husband and the boys as they stood waiting by the front door of the inn. At last, the first boy came running back to the inn, jingling his coins in his hand, and the second boy joined him a few moments later. His... Eyes bright with excitement. You did very well, the innkeeper told them. Now wait here until I come back. All right, the boys answered happily. They settled themselves on the ground next to each other, talking quietly I'm... while they waited for their master's return. I really did want to put something with the title, so. Three books of hours later, the innkeeper came hurrying back down the rope leading away from the harbor. Did you see anything? He asked anxiously. Anything unusual? Anyone following us? 
No, nothing, the boy said, shaking his head. Good, 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 the innkeeper said, nodding his <laughs> that head. That sounds so weird. Now, listen carefully and let me repeat this. You two stay right here. When I say go, he runs straight across the square to that churchyard over there and hide in the bushes. Um, good advice. Make sure you listen to them, though. Sure. Keep an eye out behind you in case someone follows you. Now go, he barked, and the two boys hurried off down the road as fast as they could manage. They won't get away with it. The innkeeper's wife whispered to her husband. Not this time. Of course they will, the innkeeper replied, shaking his head. They've got too many friends. And if they do, she continued, we'll just move again. I, I don't know what's going to happen now. Yes, yes we will. He agreed reluctantly, but not yet. Let's wait a little longer before we start packing our things. It was late afternoon when the innkeeper and his wife finally left the inn, locking the door securely behind them. Anyone in here? The innkeeper called out loudly as they walked. We try that. Anyone in here? They called out loudly as they stepped onto the porch. The innkeeper's wife glanced nervously around her as she spoke. No, no one. A voice called back from somewhere inside the inn. Okay. That works. Let's see. They're gone, sir. Gone? The innkeeper repeated. Who are they? Just a couple who stayed here yesterday. The voice explained. Why, I don't know, sir. But they're just gone. They paid their bill and everything. How much did they owe? The innkeeper asked suspiciously. I don't rightly recall, sir. Ten, twenty coppers. I think, in many ways, they didn't leave no note. Um, by the way, you can change module any time in the story. Oh, we have a few other settings here. This is the AI model. I always stay on interpret, usually. Um, they have a config preset. They have an author's note, which really is a powerful thing if you know about it. Um, lower book access is basically AI Dungeons World info. Um, if you write something in it, welcome lower book. I know I really don't want to do that right now, but I'll do it just to show you guys. If we write life, we go in. I want to write about in, so. The hacks, also known. I did not say write about the dead, did I? In sometimes this thing will glitch out, same as AI dungeons. So the Black Knight in the tavern located in London it was built by I don't know to activate. You should put a um, activation key in there. So that's if you want to flesh out everything. Um, you can also it searches 1,000 to find it. 1,000 toe coins. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I don't understand. But okay. Uh, phrase bias. But none of this really matters. But hey. Let's continue. Handed me the money and walked out the door. I never seen before in my life. Never heard of neither. Where did they go? The innkeeper persisted. Where did they go?
the voice echoed back at him. I don't know, sir. I swear it. Then the sound of footsteps receded down the hall inside. What a strange pair, the innkeeper's wife said as the innkeeper locked the door. Yes, do you think they could have been spies? He asked. That would certainly explain why they went so quickly, she agreed. But who could have sent them? We haven't had any trouble here lately. Not since the king's men cleared out the town. Um, so, guys, if you want to see any more of this novel AI, please remember, if you're watching on Twitch, follow. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. So, see you then. Oh, let's go ahead and do a high five real quick. Yeah, that could be a plot advancement. See you guys later.